Post game from the Clotchy Center found tonight's 90 to 79 victory over Valparaiso. Coach, uh, so much good in your team for your team tonight in this game. Um, just you know, let's just start from the from the beginning. You know, it came out, you guys shot the lights out. Yet here you were, you know, not pulling away. You go on a 21 to three run, get a 10 point lead. They come back, they tie it, and eventually tie it. But your team never gave up, never gave in, held the lead the whole time. Well, you know, Valpo's much better than their record shows. Um, they've got some incredible post players in the paint. And when their guards are on, it makes them a very tough team to beat, which tonight they were. I mean, they shot an incredible percentage from the three-point line um, on the road. And we were still able to pull out that victory. And I credit that a lot to our captains um, with their leadership. And I also credit a lot to our, us executing our offense, which was a huge focus coming into this week, was we wanted to get back to really executing our offense and what we have put into play. And, and I felt like our team did that. Um, almost to a T. I mean, there was very few possessions that I thought were broken plays. Um, and so our focus, our intensity level um, for the whole game was really tremendous. Even when they got ahead on a couple of those threes, we kept saying, they're going to have to cool down at some point. Let's just keep pushing on them, keep pushing on them. Um, and so I think, you know, from top to bottom, our team was definitely in this game. One of the big things that um, stood out to me, uh, points in transition, 19 to 2 on fast break points. Your team was out there, took advantage of every chance they had. We pushed, you know, and that was something that, you know, we've talked a lot about, but we haven't been getting the understanding of how fast we are, how deep our bench can be. Um, we've got to, we always say trust each other, you know, and if you're tired, we'll get you a sub, we'll get somebody else in, and they're going to run equally as hard until they need a sub, and et cetera, et cetera. And so I thought we did that. You know, there were many people tonight asking for subs because they had been playing so hard, and that's what you want. I mean, you want your team to play that hard game in game out practice and you know even in practice I expect that from them in practice as well. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, Jordan Swan career high 19 points and she did it in 15 minutes and came up with a bunch of key rebounds down the stretch. Yeah more than one point per minute is pretty impressive um, and she was huge I mean just even her toughness in the post defense you know she's she's a 5'11 post player and she was playing against some of the better posts in our conference um, and battling you know every single possession then to hit free throws down the stretch for us um, you know was really key and she got a few of those just on free throw line you know not them not boxing out at the free throw line and just being more aggressive than the other team so um, we knew we needed the ball in her hand those last few possessions so that she could knock down a few more um, and you know exciting for her to, to have her career night um, and I know she's going to continue just to build off of this. Uh, last question then Ashley Green uh, just missed a double double nine rebounds but 31 points had to be 31 of the most quietest points even though at times she was taking that game over. Well, I think she was a little bit more back to her old self from the beginning of the season. Um, Ashley and I had a really long talk yesterday and watched some of her clips from you know, the first few games um, that we had put together. And we just talked a lot about just playing and not thinking the game. I think sometimes she, you know, Ashley's she, she's a very smart person. So sometimes she overthinks. She thinks too much. Um, when she just plays and she gets into that flow, you know, she's very tough to stop, you know, and um, and she proved that tonight. I told her, I said, you're the, the player that you were early in the season is the player that you are when you just play. And, and and I think she took hold of that tonight, and it was really fun to watch her out there. You know, and Jaleesa and Sid, you know, not to really turn the ball over much, finding her in critical situations and making plays and executing our offense. Um, you know, we just – everybody played – did what they needed to do for us to be successful. They did their – everybody did their job very well. Um, and we need that game in and game out. So, you know, Saturday is going to be another test. You know, UIC is very different than this team, very athletic. Um, and we've got to take care of the basketball against them. A lot of people have been turning it over. So the game plan changes a little bit, and, um, and, and we'll start preparation on that tomorrow. Well, it was a fun one to watch, so congratulations. Thank you.